Hey guys, so I just wanted to hop on just to explain what I was doing here. Um, I end up using, I want to say 11 260s all together. And um, honestly, it's totally up to the um, balloon size you're doing. Again, this was a 36 inch balloon, but I inflated it to probably about a 30 inch or so. Um, and I also started to, um, as I was connecting them to the 260, I also tied the necks of the balloons from one 260 to the next 260 so they can stay kind of tight together because they were moving around a lot. And you guys will see later that I end up switching technique. Um, but I went with the five inch look because you guys know I love a clean semi structure design. So I wanted to do the balloons all the same size as you can. Oh. Uh, quick second you guys you see how that 260 like when you go to the next one it's kind of spaced out so I was using the next of the balloons to tie um, to the other 260 so they can pretty much you know stay tight together and from a distance up close you see a lot of gaps but from a distance um, you don't see that much gaps you guys will see at the end but um, I end up making them tighter another way as well but yeah, so I decided to do the balloons all in one size. So I used the five inch balloons and I sized them to about uh, four inches. If I had to guess, I would say it was around four inches. And I used my Legenda. So if you have a Legenda, I had it set to 1.3. Um, and again, I believe that is around four inches. Um, I didn't want to do the full five because I still wanted them to have the, um, the color. So... I did four inches and ideally this is a time I'm not a fan of nine inch balloons um, but ideally this would be a time that I would use nine inch balloons if I had the option for these brands and colors um, because I think the nine inch balloons would be much quicker because five inches and I use 304 balloons all together for this look so i'm switching um technique here you guys as you can see i started to use rubble bands i didn't use any more 260s um for the in the last little bit i had i just did all rubble bands and this technique next time i probably just start with this i may have a, a few 260 maybe like four or five just for guide um but once i use the 260 i would just start continuing to add on uh, with rubble bands because they actually stayed a little bit tighter and they didn't move at all um, you had to move them around somewhat, but for the most part, I, I used the, sorry, I keep saying 260 <laughs> or rubber bands, did I? So the rubber bands, I was able to uh, connect them like three different ways just so they will pull from different directions. But um, this is the end part of how I did everything. And the whole time I just made prayer that the big balloon don't pop. So this is the um, base or the bottom part for the hot air balloon and i bought this from home goods and it was 16.99 you guys seen and i was super excited because i didn't want to use like the regular wicker basket um so i was happy that i found this i thought the color was really pretty it you know and then the client can also take this home and use it you know as a storage bin when they're done if they want to so i don't mind that and then the dolls i will be adding a picture this is what the dolls look like and i'm using zip ties three i didn't make them super tight because i don't want to i won't be traveling with it done so once i have all of my rig points in and just checking that they're not too tight then i will just be sitting it to the side and when i get on site i will just put the poles in and then i will be done and that's how everything will be. <laughs> now just make them tight. And then that's pretty much it, you guys. If you have any questions, if I miss anything, please let me know. Everything will be linked in the description box. So I'll see you in the next. Oh, yeah. And um, next week, I will have the full setup of the everything else. So you guys see this for this week. And then next week will be the setup for the... Um, the balloons with the boy marquee number so thank you guys for watching and i will see you in the next video bye